Hello, welcome back to another in-depth weather video. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss another in-depth weather video. Now let's go in-depth. Here we are, National Weather Service page. We're still watching the widespread red flag warnings across the country. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and into California. We also had our severe threat today, so there are some severe thunderstorm watches still in effect when I am filming this video. We still have air quality alerts over the Dallas area as well. Now let's move on to the radar, where we can see some isolated showers and thunderstorms in that region with the severe thunderstorm warning. But these showers are associated with a new system, a cutoff low, which is basically a low pressure cut off from the normal flow of low pressures along the jet stream. This will be occurring throughout the next few days, and I will be covering that in this video. Now, let's move on to the Storm Prediction Center. So here is the thunderstorm outlook. So this is this was the day that I'm filming this, aka yesterday when you're watching this. Here is for you guys today's outlook. General thunder across many different regions, southwest, the southern tip of Texas, the southeast, in association with that cutoff low. The central part of the country as well as the continuation of that northern threat. Now let's move on to our rainfall forecast. This was today, today when I'm filming, yesterday when you're watching. Now we can start to see slight risk of excessive rainfall starting to move in here throughout today when you're watching this and then into tomorrow as well now let's move on to our fire weather outlook which is it's going down today so we still have some areas in this elevated risk in areas of Kansas Colorado Oklahoma, Texas, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and Nevada. But then we have the 3 to 8 day. We have more of an enhanced warning here in this area. Next up, NAM 3 kilometer model, where we have these two systems in play. We have this northwestern system as well as the cutoff low. So as we move through the day, more rain is going to be moving onto the shore of the northwest as well as this cutoff low starting to develop here along the co coastline of the southwest, southeast that is, along the Atlantic Ocean. So there is some, this is where that elevated risk for Rainfall is right in this area here where the rain just won't stop and that will be continuing throughout the next few days Just that rain coming onto the shoreline and continuing to batter the coast and then that low pressure does start to develop into Wednesday morning We are watching some snowfall in the mountains as well with that other system later into this week and just just for giggles let's see so some spots could see six inches but mostly just three to six in the highest elevations but mostly just you know one to three maybe total accumulated precip is next as you can see where those enhanced risks for excessive rainfall is that's where the heaviest rain is on this chart and finally, I want to go to our heat temperature. So, throughout the day, 
we will be seeing a cooldown where that rain is. Uh, since, you know, it is raining, it's going to be pulling in the warm air from the Atlantic. It will be cooling down over the, the North Carolina, the, the Mid-Atlantic region. So, cool air over there. Northwest is also cool. And then you have 70, 60s and 70s in the Midwest and Northeast. The Northern Plains is going to be getting into some 80s. Some 90s in the Plains here, the Great Plains, as well as in the South. You could see some triple digit digits in the Desert region as well. But that is expected for this time. So, just the major outlier here is just this region where you're going to be seeing 50s into the low 60s. But everywhere else, of course, you're going to have differences with elevation, especially in the, the Rockies and the Appalachians. So, that is always a factor. But, between, on average, I'd say between 70 and 90 degrees is our average for the day today low temperatures this morning were fairly low in some spots but no more frost advisories those have been lifted and no new frost advisories have arrived on the scene and you can actually see the spin of the, the low on the thermal dynamics map here but that's all I really wanted to show. And 